Hi guys, thank you so much for purchasing your craft kit. Today, we're going to be showing you how to make this DJ turntable. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's go over what comes in your craft kit first. First, you should have a foam piece base with labeled A on it and a foam piece that is labeled B with a wooden dowel glued to the bottom. And then you should have two pieces of foam piece C and two pieces of foam piece D. Then you should also have two foam circles with a hole in the center labeled E. And you will also have one small foam piece with a toothpick attached to it labeled F and a tiny little foam piece labeled G. You should also have in your kit some glitter foam sticker sheets, a popsicle stick, some gemstone stickers, and a fastener with double-sided tape on one end. All right, now that we have everything, all you'll need are some markers or coloring pencils and a pair of scissors. All right, let's get started. First, take your foam piece A the side without the double-sided tape should be facing up and the slit should be on the top right corner. You can color it any color you want. Feel free to get creative and draw different designs on it. So when you're coloring around the slit, that slit is actually going to be where your volume control is. So you're going to want to leave a little bit of blank space around there so that you can draw your volume control. Once you're done, you're going to color and decorate your C and D pieces. Again, you can color it any color you like and you can get super creative with your designs for patterns and other fun stuff, just like this. Then take your little F foam piece and color it as well. This is going to be your volume control button. Once you're done coloring all those pieces, take the B foam piece with the double sided tape facing up you're going to gently peel the double-sided tape backing off the edges. Make sure you're only peeling the paper backing part off. And then you're going to attach one of the C pieces on one of the edges. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, so you're just going to gently press it in and then you're going to grab your other C piece and attach it on the opposite end. Make sure you have the color decorated side facing out. And then you're going to take your two D pieces and attach it on the other edges as well. And just gently press them together. Now, grab your volume control piece. You're going to insert it into the slit on the top, on top of the A. Push it through the slit and then holding it, you're going to flip it backwards and insert your G piece on the other side of the toothpick to secure your volume control button. Now your volume control should be able to slide left and right just like that. Next, take your fastener, pop 
popsicle stick and one of your pieces of the glitter foam, you're going to decorate your popsicle stick. So you can either color it or you can use the glitter foam sheet to cut out a long strip that is the size of the popsicle stick and then just peel off the backing to the glitter foam sticker and stick it right onto the popsicle stick. So again, you can get super creative with how you want to decorate your popsicle stick. Then you're going to peel off the double-sided tape backing on top of the fastener and place it at the bottom of one end of the popsicle stick. Afterwards, insert your fastener into the hole closer to the volume controller of your A piece. Flip it backwards, flip it around, and split your fastener to secure it. Now, the popsicle stick should be able to swivel it around like this. Now, peel off the double-sided tape backing of your A piece. And then you're going to place it on top of your B piece with the C and D sides and gently push the wooden dowel through the hole on the A piece and press it down. Place one of your circle pieces, your circle E pieces in the center So now you can take your glitter foam stickers, cut them into different shapes and sizes to decorate your DJ controller. You can feel free to use these as buttons or make different patterns and cool prints. So the foam piece E right now is actually just there for measurement purposes. That way you know which part you don't have to decorate because the vinyl disc would be covering it once you put it on. Once you're done decorating your DJ controller with the buttons, you can start coloring and decorating your vinyl discs. So this kit comes with two of those. So you can design it for your favorite singer, your favorite, including your favorite songs, or it could be your very own album that you're gonna release one day. You can also feel free to use some of the gemstone stickers to decorate your vinyl discs. And once you're done, gently place the vinyl disc onto the wooden dowel, just like that. And now for some finishing touches, feel free to bling it out with your gemstone stickers. Or you could use those gemstones as buttons as well. And guess what? Now we're all done. Now you can play some really cool music for you and your friends and your family. Thank you so much again for your support. And we look forward to making other crafts with you.